Welcome back to another episode of Irumakun. And as usual, a quick recap to remind myself what happened last time. But if you want to jump to the reaction, there is a timestamp below. So last time was the finish of the race and determining the ranks. But before we did that, we had to save Saburo a bit, right? Saburo, I'm just trying to realize he's going to be the ultimate bro, isn't he? Because at the end, he establishes a really friendly relationship with Iruma. Not necessarily as friends, but as rivals. On the topic of friends, you know how demons keep saying that they don't really understand even the concept of the word friendship or the friends itself? And you know how in the first episode it was kind of established that once a demon beats another, one they become master and servant relationship. Is everybody just in a master-servant relationship in this world? Therefore, this like friend dynamic doesn't even exist? Which then gets really interesting because Sabro talks about the demon king philo uh, prophecy, right? He who shall reign over all, right, will have a blood pact with them. Something about human, you know, human's blood being able to heal demons, remember that, right? But also the rings, King Solomon's ring, which happens to be the gluttonous feeder ring. I'm not sure if there's different things. I'm not sure if there's multiple King Solomon's ring and gluttonous ring is just one of them, right? But Iduma seems to have all the qualities to be the demon king, even though no one really expects it from such a soft and timid guy, right? But the relationship is going to get interesting because it's he who reigns over all, but Iduma doesn't see Alice, Asmodeus Alice, as like a servant. It's a friend, and we established that immediately. So all that he will rule over isn't gonna be just like a king and his servant. It's gonna be a friend dynamic, I think, as we move on. And I think that's what they're trying to slowly build up. Sabro's backstory was probably one of the funniest things I've seen in anime in a while. Because, you know, usually in these shonen shows, right, everybody has like, the most like, um, the most uh, common example would be in like, sp actually sports shonen series where it's like for my dying sister's promise i must go to the nationals tournament or like you know in different shows like uh, to become like the pirate king or the hokage they have such such sad tragic flashback sabro kind of leads in with saying <laughs> my father he told me to become the king of demons my brother he left me and he said that he would one day fight me over the throne for the demon king right my younger sister she's dying and her last promise is for me to become the demon king and he's like actually none of that shit actually happened it's fuck all that shit and then he says i just want to be demon king because it's cool it's nice to, it's very refreshing take on this almost nostalgic old sense of shonen anime that this Irumakun kind of resembles to me, but to kind of <laughs> go beyond that and say, it's fun to tragic flashback, we don't need that, right? It's amazing from Sabro. That's probably one of the highlights of the episodes for me. So we come back on the Guardian, Kale goes impressed as ever. I'm not sure if he's actually impressed or just shocked by Iruma's just doing all this. I wonder what he really thinks of Karego. I mean, he thinks of Iruma though. Because so far, it's not a very friendly relationship, even though we are master and familiar, right? Clara is rank 3, baby. The highest rank so far is Asmodeus, and we grab into the owl and we get a little badge. Everybody seems to get a rank. Even Clara, you know, she kind of... This, 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 the results were kind of skewed because she kind of got carried by Alice. But hey, luck is part of the game. Everyone else kind of ranked between like 3, 2, 1. But Iruma gets the ring. Now, is this because he's a human? Probably. Did Sullivan have anything to do with it? At the end, he said after like stopping Katago from destroying it, that once in a millennia, it's, you know, situations like this could happen on a whim, like, casually. It's like, no, I think there's more than more than meets the eye. I wonder why the owl just kind of shriek because the sh owl has never said anything in like centuries, right? And Katago's like, until now! Yep, everything Iruma does is just ridiculous. He has no official ranking. He's been placed at, I think, uh, the first rank. And these ranks are not absolute. I'm not sure how often they'll refresh, but obviously it doesn't really reflect on a person's true demon strength, if not. I don't know. I don't know. But we got the gluttonous feeder ring, and I talked about how Inuma doesn't really have the capability to do any attacks. This ring kind of acts like if you've seen Naruto, you know, like Gara's like quicksand, how it's able to just automatically defend everything, but on, in that doing that, it's kind of like an offense as well. This helps a lot along with Irma's able ability to dodge. It's hungry for magic all the time too. So another thing that's going to help Irma out, I think Grandpa Sullivan is planning this all out. Probably, right? And at the end, Eiko sees that Irma has done another amazing thing. Yet, she is not even the same class. She has not even properly introduced. And you guys let me know that she's actually a side sporting character. And I got baited by the first Tsukima skit. But hey, that's fine. We still have Clara and we have Asmodeus as our like Team 7 trio, right? But... Let's begin today's episode. Proof. Are you driving us to school, Gramps? 
What, what's, what's this carrots going on? Custom carrots to take my... <laughs> Yo, give him some wings, man. I guess you can't really do that casually, but we got a carrots. That's okay. Thanks, Gramps. I guess they've never met a human, therefore they can't really imagine him. <laughs> Red cape, baby! <laughs> Straight up the carriage has arrived! Thanks for announcing everything up for us. <laughs> Her theory is that Yuruma is a human? Maybe? Has she caught on? I don't know. Huh? What's up, Asmodeus? Oh, we didn't get walk to school together with the three of us. Maybe they can come in the carriage. Oh, on a carriage. Wow. Flara! What does she just... Did she just come out of the carpet itself? <laughs> the red carpet itself she wrapped... How did she come... Okay. Susie. Are you a cat? Alright, this is some plant class. Does she have a hiccup? Is she drunk? She does look a little drunk with the blush. Quan Quan. And it sprouts. Cool. Into like a big plant flower. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everybody's looking though. What do you what will he do? They're scouting from other classes too. Okay. Oh wow. They're all watching him. Upperclassmen. Okay, okay. I would imagine there's about three years, like first, second, and third years, I would imagine, in the school, like grade 10, 11, 12 system. The student council is watching intensely. Woo! Iruma has just really caught their attention, huh? Yeah, this is kind of exciting, though, whenever the all the eyes are on Iruma. Maybe? I mean, he's kind of popping off, too. Watch! Kwon Kwon! <laughs> He screamed that shit. Flyer's got sunglasses. Alright, let's see it. What the fuck? I mean, it pretty much resembles. Yeah, it pretty much resembles him exactly. Is she really the idol girl in disguise? I don't know. I don't know. Is that... <laughs> this is some shit out of like Made in the Abyss. What did you just make? <laughs> She's like... <laughs> She's like... <laughs> Uh, oh, you accidentally stole it. Uh, what the fuck is going on here, Clara? That's a... Because she just takes everything and just kind of just... It's a mix and match of everything. What do you mean, kaboom, ka eek, and kablui? Uh, <laughs> Saburo's able to understand the sound effects that Clara's saying, though, at least. Do you have magic? Well, Gramps magic in the ring. Can it... Can we use that instead? Quan Quan. I bet it... We do have a source of magic through the ring. Gramps. Gramps, come on. No! Here it is! The ring activates. There it is. Gramps' magic is given. How much time are we able to recharge the ring, though? Because... We're... This is borrowed power still, though, right? Gramps' cell phone. <laughs> Graham, why'd you call just now? He probably was like, he probably knew exactly what was going on, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, it's your magic. Not any magic. This is Gramps' magic. Like, director. Oh my god, we're gonna actually just summon an entire forest. The student council is all watching right now too, right? Make sure you don't use it. I haven't adjusted out for that. <laughs> ah, it's too late. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gramps, I think you called just in time. We can see you from his house. Let's see, how big? Is it like a forest, like a giant tree that just sprouted? Again, on the camera, it's gonna be in the newspaper. Oh my god. Like Sakura blossoms? Wow! Cherry blossoms blossomed. Oh, this is actually so beautiful. And this type of tree, does it exist in Demon World? Because... Cherry blossoms are more Japanese descent, right? I wouldn't expect them to... Is this like the first time? Exactly! Big pink fluffy thing, they don't understand. But, wow. In the human war. Okay, so this is her theory. You must be from the Earth then, huh? Iruma equals human. There it is! 
he must be a human. <sighs> Dude, the student council. So cool. Will we join the student council? I would imagine they would get involved somehow. We get recruited. You're doing more property damage this way. <laughs> the windows, they were just... At least break a wall down if you're gonna fuck things. Okay, okay, but... You still did more damage on the end. Uh, it's, it's, it's not about the property damage. It's about sending a message. She is pretty cool. And they have their own, like, student council uniforms. And she has her own stink uniform. Reliable evidence. You mean... Do you know a human? Do you have a human tied up in here? Like, what the fuck's going on? Okay. These are... Secret relics from her family. Are you sure you should store family relics in school? But... Huh. It's documentation that humans do exist. She's like sweating. Alright, let's see it. It's just manga. She just has a collection of manga. Are you fucking kidding me? Her belief that humans exist is from manga? Where is she? Her family bloodline has collected secret relics in the form of manga? Is it all just shoujo anime? <laughs> does, does she get blushed at the, like, the pretty guys in the shoujo anime? Let's see. Oh, don't... <laughs> Just show it your fangirling. <laughs> okay. So the the appeal of student council press is super strong. The epitome of a demon. Law enforcement. Student council press. But our secret time. <laughs> secret time. She reads Shoujo manga and just gets embarrassed. Terrifying powers. Of love. <laughs> oh my god. So is she, will she try that against Yurima or something to like bump into him? <laughs> oh, this is so adorable for the student council press to- Don't make a sound effect. I'm still waiting for the class press to run into Yurima though. Because gotta happen, right? Just like how the shoujo manga depicts it. No, they're gonna fall. He's carrying way too much. No, it's happening right now. She's not paying attention. Uh oh. Sure, research. Uh-huh, sure. It's not like you love reading shoujo. Here comes the clash. Run into each other. There it is. The manga panel shows that. Is she gonna fall for Iruma? Oh, the human charm! Oh, it's, it's straight out of the shoujo manga, dude! Oh, she completely charmed. She just fell. She already fell. Yeah. Yeah. Student Council Press. Who snap out of it? Is she gonna act all cool and say, oh, whatever. <laughs> are you gonna be friendly? Are you gonna be friendly or human charms? That's right. Summon the sage tree, immeasurable rank, the gluttonous ring, the director's grandchild, and now it's running to you. <laughs> Make me fall? I don't think it's. You're, I think you're making yourself fall for it. <laughs> Hello? Yes, ma'am? He's absolutely... She's right. She's absolutely right. But, oh my god. This is a this is a turnaround of events that I would have actually never imagined. The student council press had... So, her entire thing is cool. Just, just like, epitome of a demon. I will just be, like, the top dog and just, like, reign over all in the school and protect the school from all delinquents. I don't know, shattering windows, even I'm just gonna break a wall and do more property damage in, in the end. Anyway, she's supposed to be this cold, ruthless, cool person, right? But then her family's sacred relic is, I actually have a bunch of shoujo manga and I love reading it. And she gets so, the way she was moving and like fidgeting when she was reading the manga during the time when that girl collided with the guy and there was like a little bit of spark of romance. She's like, she, obviously she wants to. I'm gonna, I mean, it, at that age, you're in high school, you're a high school girl, you obviously love in that romance kind of thing is gonna be in your, you know, in your head, but she's like, no, I must store that away. This is just for research, just for research. And then, Iruma, I'm like, yeah, she's definitely gonna run into Iruma, right? And she actually does run into Iruma, so, so far, but at the end, she still, she was completely flat.
gosh. We saw love bubbles everywhere. I think she's fallen for him, maybe. They literally fell, but fallen in love, I'm not completely sure. Because she still has suspicion, right? You must be human. This relationship's gonna be interesting. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a favorable one or uh, like a um, hostile one. Probably not hostile. If anything, it's gonna be neutral or favorable. Probably leaning towards favorable, where she kind of like gives him all the leniency, even though she might discover that he's a human because of their special bond now, <laughs> right? I, I think that she might actually help us out in the future. Intr but are we... I'm not gonna say it's a harem that's forming, but like Clara, Aiko, Student Council Prez seems to be like the main girl so far that's kind of rallying on his side. Uh, but Irum is not like, um, I don't think he understands anything or romance just yet because he might end up just being like a, what's it called? A dense main shonen character where everybody just fawns over him, but he just doesn't really realize anything. But he's just vibing. They're all just friends to him, right? Probably something like that. It'd be also fun to see if everybody tries to compete for his affection later on. But yeah, he summoned this actual sage, sage tree though. Like, everybody else has little plants, little blossom, but he summoned the fucking sage tree. How? The magic power borrowed from Sullivan. So the magic power from the ring, we know that it's like pretty much just treated as a battery. If it's hungry, it's gonna come out, we need to calm him down. Does that mean Sullivan's gonna basically bail us out every time? Because so far, everything is still borrowed power for Iduma, other than his defensive capabilities. Everything is borrowed power, and we can't really rely on that too much, can we? Unless the whole theme of the show is you can rely on friends like from other demons and they'll kind of like do other things to give him magic or offer him different kind of support. We'll be able to heal them while they fight on his behalf. Maybe something like that is what we're going to eventually form into. But so far, I'm trying to understand like what does this mean if he runs out of the power in the ring? Then it's going to be useless. But then I guess if we actually run out of the power of the ring, you know, the gluttonous beast comes out and just basically starts screaming and is able to suck other people's magic away. So it's a uh, this ring is ridiculous. This ring is ridiculous. If you have magic or not, we still can do something about it, right? Will Sullivan recharge the ring every time? I feel like it's a little bit of a cop-out if Sullivan really just bail us out every time. But holy shit, does it make for some kind of content when we get to use borrow just his power? The output is not scaled, so he summons an actual huge-ass tree. It's just going to be like a permanent like a feature of the school now, which is going to be just like celebrated and everybody loves it. All your student council members are just like has an eye on Edma too. So eventually I wonder if they're going to scout him to join the student council along with maybe Asmodeus and uh, Sabro. But highlight of the episode for sure is I don't know her name yet, though. I, I Is it like Ameri or something? I still don't know. But the student council press just just reading the shoujo manga in the secret just acting like she's like sinning so much she's like oh no i can't let people see this but this is her basis that humans exist because of shoujo manga this anime's comedy is actually so good hey if you stick around this song if you enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps youtube i'll go push that my small channel if you recommend it so that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care